All right, here we are again with another reaction. Me, a jazz drummer with no, well, very little metal background. Um, and metal's over. Metal people, I don't mean over like it's done. I mean, it's over like people like it, um, especially here on YouTube. And all the requests I get are for metal. Um, and I think people just kind of are interested in how a jazz drummer might react to a metal drummer. Um, so I, A, appreciate every single recommendation and suggestion, super helpful, me, saves me having to see things before I want to see them. Like if I want to pick something, I got to watch it first, but if you just name something and tell me what video to watch, I can just go do it and that makes it a lot easier. Um, so this one is a recommendation, um, that someone, uh, put out, it was, who was it? It was underscore commented. Check out anything by Necrophagist. And that's what I'm going to do. Necrophagist. I don't know what the fuck that is. Never heard of them. Don't know who they are. Don't know where they're from. I assume that their logo looks like a leather chair that's been sun damaged. Um, but yeah, Necrophagist. This is... Um, I don't even know what song it is. Let's see if we find out what song it is. Click. This is Necrophagus presents Romain Goulon playing along to guitar tracks from the album Epitaph. French grip. So relaxed. So relaxed. So relaxed, like it, he looks like a jazz drummer. The touch, soft touch on all the cymbals and everything, it's like he's barely working. Yeah, that shit, that's all fingers. He's all fingers. There's no molar stroking, there's no whip. It's just all finger strength. And that's how you get those clean, consistent strokes. You do that doing molar, you might end up with which is not the same sound. Throwing in like triplets, but diminished to flat, diminished to B. See, I feel like this is kind of like the new way of playing metal. Because you don't need to beat the shit out of the drums like guys did back in the day. Back in the day, these guys would play these clubs where they'd set up their amps and there'd be no mics for the drums. Well, fucking, sorry man, you're going to have to play over all these amps and shit. And so guys would have to beat the shit out of their drums. Same with like punk music and stuff like that. But nowadays... can balance all that shit out. You don't need to just floor everyone with sound because you're playing a little more sophisticated music, you know? And so now the drummers can relax and just play the notes um, without having to blow themselves up because they're putting in 150% trying to, A, play with all their chops that they need but also play at a um, volume that makes sense now they can just play comfortably <laughs> uh it's cool 
And this guy is like all fingers and you could see it too. You could see his chops popping like in his, in his, you know, we have all these muscles. Drummers have all these muscles in our hands that we like to show off. And you have them in your little pad right here and down here in this little pad and, and, you know, all over your hand and your wrist and your forearm. Well, this dude, he's got them popping. This thing is like a golf ball here. This one is like another golf ball. Has a lot of sitting at the kit and just just working those fingers. Um, but the thing that stands out to me is the soft touch. It's you know you have the guy who's playing incredibly fast metal, complicated the, again with the colors and the symbols. This is something that I really enjoy and I remembered from um, another drummer from a couple weeks ago. Who was that? Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> The soft touch. It was Winter Sun. That's who was doing the soft cymbal stuff. But the soft touch. You you sit a guy down and it looks like he's just playing. He's playing swing. He's playing some some samba or something. He's got a really soft touch. He's dancing between the hats and the ride cymbal and the snare and stuff. And he's playing like he's like there's no effort. And to me that is is really really cool to see metal drummers. Not just coming out and trying to play everything at once, but finessing their way through the song, finessing their way through the music. I dig that a lot. So that was um, that was excellent. That was good stuff, man. That was Romain Goulon, I think is how you would say that name. Um, so again, Necrophagus, thank you very much. Any other suggestions? And it, it, even if it's not metal, just... Make recommendations on shit you think I should see, solos you think I should see, um, whatever. I, you know, I'm a, I spent mo most of my life listening to jazz, and you know, had a punk phase, metal phase, ska phase, whatever. But um, there's plenty of music out there that I have yet to see. So if you think of something, let me know, and I'll get at it. All right, and that's it. See you next time.